That's a good butt. Oh my god. That one right. I love playing tournament golf because I think that's the true representation of um, what your handicap is maybe. Keep going, keep going, keep. I am back bringing my progress at tournament golf for you guys again. We're playing at the Royal Palm Golf and Country Club today. It's a stroke play event, 18 holes. I'm very curious to see what I perform because honestly, last time I said that the swing was great and I think I ended up playing 16, 17 over. Definitely not good representation of my handicap. But today, the swing isn't great and historically I've done better when the swing has not been great. So let's see what I score. I'm very, very excited about this to bring you this particular round because obviously tournament golf is something else entirely. So let's get into it straight away. So we're on a two up par three. Um, it's playing about 145 yards with the pin right in the beginning of the green. However, the wind's slightly against. I'm hitting my eight iron. Again, like always, I think I'm a defensive player. <laughs> because all I want to do is just get on the green. Nearer to the flag is a bonus. Go. 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 I think we're just on the green. That'll do. <laughs> it's just missed the green by six inches, but should be able to do put this. A one put would be even better. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on! Come on! Come on! I was honestly kidding when I said <laughs> birdie would be great from there, but that's some good luck charm, guys. Okay, on to a power five after that excellent birdie. Loved it. Very, very unexpected. I hope that this hole is not jinxed after that birdie and I need to continue the good play. Oh, I was not intending the draw, but that actually turned out pretty well for me. <laughs> um, there's no way I can go two on from here. I don't have that confidence unfortunately but I think I have a flyer lie I'm hitting my 8 iron just laying up uh, possibly have like anywhere between a 50 and 75 yard shot so I really hope I can execute this because when you don't lay up well it's actually quite embarrassing <laughs> yep stay yeah that should be okay um, in the process of just hitting the shot, the wind actually crossed, so it didn't go as much uh, in distance, but uh, it's still okay. I'm in the fairway. I'm going to hit my 56 degree wedge, even if this goes just about 100, I should be on the green. I wasn't hitting this club great on the range, so this is going to be an interesting shot. Go! Go! Okay, that's actually much better than I expected. But you see how I, I wasn't hitting this well even now because I nearly didn't get the uh, loft on my 56 degree wedge. But anyway, it went straight and it's near the hole and I actually have a genuine birdie opportunity. Oh my God, that kind of stayed right. It never came back. Nevertheless, I am always very happy with it, <laughs> always. So I've got about 115 yards to the hole. Uh, this is a tough uh, hole, honestly, because green is so, so small. I'm just hitting my 48 degree wedge, going to slightly punch on it. Otherwise, it might go over the green, but it'll be great to get the green over here. Yep. 
It's quite short, I didn't get a good connection on it though, but at least I'm on the green. That's always, always what I want, just be on the green. I've got a tough um, two part over here. Just look at the undulation on the green, it fall left slightly first and then turn right drastically. Um, I swear I'll be very, very happy with a two part over here. I'm back. Stop. Stop. I think that is honestly the best I could have done from there, but it's not bad. I should be able to hopefully make a par. Yes, that's a good putt. Thank you. Another par 3, 155 yards. I'm hitting my 8 iron. Honestly, not really sure what's happening with the wind right now. Sometimes it's against and sometimes it's with. I'm just going to smack my 8 iron. It's a tough tee over there. Be good. Be good. Go a little more. Go. Now stay there. Please. A little more. Wow. That's extremely uphill. That was so slow. <laughs> yep. Another par. Guys, um, this is so far going far, far better than I expected because still I'm not hitting the shots all too well. I mean, you saw the 8 iron I hit right now. I didn't get that loft either. But um, somehow it's just kind of working out for the time being. Fingers crossed. So, another par 4. It's a shorter par 4. I'm hitting my 3 wood. I have not historically done well on this hole. Not that I should have thought about this <laughs> right before my tee shot. Let. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That is not bad. That is not bad. That was a miss hit. Very good miss. <laughs> So 105 to the flag, another 56 degree wedge. I like this course because if you had a good drive, you get wedges for your second shots. So I'm just hoping that again, the green regulation has been great today. I hope I can continue this. Oh no, sit! I have managed to jinx myself finally <laughs> that was a absolutely terrible shot i topped that all the way throughout the green and that's a tough chip from there but um something had to give <laughs> so um you see the results of a bad shot it's an absolutely terrible lie um i really have to do like a little michael jackson <laughs> falling forward <laughs> to be able to hit this shot and it's a tough up and down but um Got to give myself at least uh, a decent chance. But first, I need to get this on the green. Sit. Sit. Okay, that was surprisingly very, very good for distance. I just did not hit it right enough. But um, I'm, I'm very happy with that because I didn't expect to hit such a clean shot from this lie. Hit it! That was the right line. <laughs> Can I finish? Yeah, the right line. So, um, through five holes, first bogey. That is um, not bad at all considering the way I usually uh, play off. So, um, I think I'm playing about, I think, scratch right now. And with golf, we know how suddenly it falls apart. So, just hoping to put it together and I'm happy with the bogey over here. So, these are the moments actually where I need to, you know, work on myself. And I've always said that my mental game isn't the strongest because this one bad shot I hit on the last hole saved a bogey still. But uh, this tends to play on my head and especially in tournament, tournament golf where every shot matters. Uh, this is the test. This is what I've been trying to work on. The swing goes up and down for everyone. 
but it's how you can deal with it, obviously. So trying now to get back in the game, to forget that shot and to focus more on what comes next because you really can't do anything about the shot you've already hit. So let's hope I can keep it together. So on to the sixth hole, the index one at Royal Palm. Uh, this hole is all about the first shot. We've got OB on the left, we've got Hazard on the right. So the first shot, if it's a good one, the hole becomes a lot easier. And like I said, focusing on the next shot now. Oh my God. There's a line on the left which determines whether you're in the OB or not. So I really don't know. We'll only go find out once we're there. What a terrible shot. So guys, you know, um, to play a good round, you always need a bit of luck. And just look at this. This is the line I was talking about, the OB line. And this is where I am. So literally, I have saved myself or the luck has saved the OB for me by literally just half a yard so i need to make the most of this opportunity i've gotten uh, 168 to the flag i'm hitting my seven iron um, let's play the index well one uh, well enough and give it its respect oh where has that gone way right I honestly don't know what went wrong. Uh, the divot seems to be on the, towards the green, but I think I've just really pushed that ball. So yeah, the index one is uh, telling me why it's the index one. That's too solid. Ooh. I may have pushed that a little, a little, but it's okay. So bogey on the index one, I would generally take this. I will definitely take this on this hole because how close I was to the OB and hit a bad shot then again as well. But um, one over through six holes, I need to get it back, like I said earlier. I'm playing the tournament today with some lovely guys over here. We've got Amar Hussain, Raheem Nasir, Abdullah Khan. Uh, they're all much better players than I am. And I am um, putting them through this hassle of playing golf and, <laughs> and making a video alongside. Oh, yaar, come on, Sean. That's not a good drive. It's gone all the way left. Just not keeping my balance in the drive. I'm jinxing myself. Okay, well, it's gone through. So one job done. I don't know how long a shot is to go on the green, but uh, <laughs> first job done. <laughs> Come left. Oh, that's so good. Please come left. Oh. That was the perfect distance. Got such a good connection on it. But unfortunately, it came out right. I'm in the bunker and the bunkers on this course are so tough. Um, they're very unpredictable in terms of whether they have sand underneath or not. So yeah, overall not too pleased with that shot. Ah, that's unfortunate. It's just unfortunate for me to find myself here. We have a fried egg here of the ball. Um, I'm hitting my 360 degree wedge. I am not 100% sure how to hit this shot, but um, I'm just going to maybe punch it through. It will probably roll more as well. So honestly, um, if it comes out and is on the green, I think that's, that's the result. I'm not even thinking of the flag right now. How, how does 
that happen <laughs> thank you <laughs> how does that happen how <laughs> I, I i don't have words <laughs> <laughs> this bar is absolutely a shock for me. I was so convinced in my mind that I was going to make a bogey on this hole. This has been quite a surprise. I'm so, so delighted. Um, finally, I've broken the bogey streak. So, made two bogeys and finally we're back on the bar train, hopefully. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, and be the number. Yeah, not hitting my pitching wedge all too well. That's a little bit of duff as well. I think that was just lack of confidence in the club. It was the right club to hit. Um, just giving myself little chip button and up and down. So let's go do it. Stop. Stop. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Oh, made a bogey from a foot and a half away. Uh, that's unfortunate, that's bad play, but uh, made even my bogey a little tough actually. Uh, anyway, like I said, I need to move on. I can't get myself in the same mindset where I keep, you know, I'm very hard on myself. So it's okay, um, it happens, it's golf. We are through eight holes. I'm playing two over still. Very, very good for today. I wasn't expecting it. So let's keep this positive mindset and keep moving forward. Oh, wow. That turned out much better than I expected. <laughs> Actually, as soon as I hit the ball, I thought that there was a bit of a curve on it. So, but it just suddenly went straight. So I guess I hit better than I felt it in my hands. Uh, not bad, it's the last hole on the, the front nine and um, got to finish it well. Look, so that tree right in front of me, that's just above the flag and you really need to flop the ball up and then for it to suddenly fall to find yourself in a good place. So I'm going to try something which I would never try otherwise. I'm going to try hitting a high fade. I'm hitting my pitching wedge, it's 135 yard short. I really don't know how this is going to turn out, but I guess we'll know. Oh, sit, sit, sit. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we're in a good place on the green. It did fade. It was not high at all, <laughs> at all. I actually topped the ball slightly. But um, yeah, so the luck is clearly with me today. Um, I think I am making the most of that luck as well. So uh, I should hopefully be able to make a two part from here and finish the side two over. That's pretty good. A little more go. <laughs> but good par um, managed to play the two over just on the front nine nine holes to go I'm playing six under net pretty much in contention let's hope I can keep this game going so the back nine is actually the tougher side on this course this is an index two hole uh, you need to have a good distance about 260 70 to carry the trees and then have a reasonable shot otherwise you get stuck um, again historically not done well on this hole, but um, but there's no excuse. <laughs> oh, 
Go. Go. Yes. That is absolutely sublime. Didn't get the right connection. Hit it slightly beneath the sweet spot, but the wind was in favor and got the shot. Never found myself in the middle of this fairway. I mean, just look at it. The fairway starts from here and it ends right there. That's it. That's the extent of the fairway. It's a very tiny fairway and I'm right in the center of it. Need to make the most of it. I've got 145 yards to the flag. The wind is behind me, so just hitting my pitching wedge, hoping to hit it better than I did last time. Oh no, did not hit it any better. Go, sit, stay, stay. <sighs> just not hitting this club well. I'm not going to hit it again. Done! That was so close. Oh my God. Oh my God. god wow it's so hard to take one's own advice right now um do not take it too hard do not take it too seriously but when you make a putt like this and we make a double bogey it's so hard to move on and move away from it i think that's the difference between better players that they actually manage to shake it off and they have the confidence that they'll you know make a birdie the next hole or somewhere down the lane but um yeah so that's the motto for today to forget about it but it's tough Okay, so 180 yards to the flag, uh, 162 yards to the flag, I'm hitting it 180. The wind is very strongly, again, hitting my 6 iron. Um, not very, very sure about the club I'm holding, but um, once I've hold, held it now, I'm going to give it my all. Oh, that looks very good. It looks very good. And it is very good. So that's the right club selection, thankfully. I was very scared about that. I we're on the green. Um, yes, a good way to move on from the last part. <laughs> that was so good for line. That was so good for line. It's not good for pace though. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so um, I'll take it. I wish I made a birdie over there and really gave myself a chance, but I'll take it. So um, a par nonetheless, I have made one birdie so far, a couple of bogeys, one double bogey, which kind of ruined the day for me. But um, let's let the par five coming. Maybe we can get a birdie there. Stay. Okay, so uh, this is where I'm at. It drew a little too much. I think the wind being against kind of exaggerated the spin as well. So this is where I'm at. It's a tough lie. And then also, I don't really have a shot. I'm punching my six iron, just trying to cross that bunker right in front, put myself back in the fairway, and I should give myself a decent chance to go three on on this par five. But I need to cover these um, obstacles first. Sit. Stay. Stop. That's pretty good. I'm very happy with that. I have given myself that chance. I was hoping that it stays in this water on that side as well, but it didn't go that far. So yay, good shot. Go. Go. It was a wrong club selection. Uh, another chip putt. The chips are going fine though. So I hope I should be able to make it. But um, 
yeah, good shot though, but for bad result. So that's a good chip. <laughs> that's a good chip, but I think it's gone slightly over the green uh, uh, hole. I hope I can make this up and down complete. Yes! I really badly wanted this par. I'm so happy I have managed to complete the up and down. So, still playing four over um, with promise. Okay, on to the heart of Lahore, the par 3. Fantastic, beautiful par 3. They've tucked the flag in in a very, very difficult place. Just hitting my 8 iron, the wind is from the back. So, um, this is the flag where it is. One should be very, very happy with the par. Oh no, I did not get that connection. Please go. Don't be in the water. That's a terrible shot. Okay, the shipping is fine though. <laughs> Let's hope I can make this into a part. Ah, oh, I thought that was going in. Oh. <laughs> Thank God I made at least this one, left myself a tricky one for bogey. But uh, yeah, I told you guys that this side was a little more difficult. I am through four holes, I think. One, two, three, four, yeah, four holes. And I am already playing three over on this side. Oh no, that's not a good one. Please go. Okay, so I heard the tree. I got stuck on my downswing slightly. This is a very usual mistake or problem I have, unfortunately. Um, so I don't know what the ball and the lie looks like. Let's go. Oh, wow. I've had a good three wood. For a change, for anyone who's watched my channel knows that this is not my speciality. But um, yeah, so playing the intelligent game, going four on and uh, hoping for a single putt maybe. Wow. Oh, not bad, not bad. So I've played the intelligent game, <laughs> made the bogey, tried for a par, but um, yeah, bad tee shot. Uh, so this is the app we're using for our tournament right now. This is the net scores. People are playing really well. I'm currently ranked seventh after 14 holes. And in gross, I am currently seventh after 14. So yeah, people still have to play a lot. So, let's keep it up. God, yep. Beautiful. Good shot. Nice. Come on. <laughs> Just a tad bit encouragement for my partners there. That was such a solid drive. But the wind is so strong that I still have a 170 yard shot. Probably have to play about 180, 85. So, I'm hitting my 6 iron and I um, want to get a good connection over here. Oh, go! That's not the best connection. Go! Go! Uh, I think I'm slightly getting up before impact. It's a little bit of a... which is why I'm not getting the right connection on the ball, unfortunately. Sit. 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 Hit that slightly hard. It's good for line though. Oh, 
Oh, that... Oh my God. That one trite. Oh, wow. Till here, I thought the ball was going in. And unfortunately, it just went right at the end. Oh, unlucky. Oh, that's not the best connection, but the result's fine. <laughs> a little further, a little further, not bad. <laughs> Oh, come left. Left. Oh, there's water over there. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a good tree. Thank you. I didn't expect uh, the ball to go right because the ball was slightly um, above me. And I was hitting slightly right of the flag thinking they'll come back. But I pushed it and uh, just barely survived. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> okay, so another bogey. I've uh, made a good line of bogeys on this side of the nine, the back nine. Um, I did say it was a little more difficult, but uh, I did imagine myself playing a little better than this. I think I have now officially played my handicap with two holes to go. Uh, another two difficult holes um, it will be really nice actually it'll be comforting to know that I've managed to play my handicap and um, it would give me that motivation that you know whatever I'm working on is working actually at the end of the day but um, let's see two holes to go oh that's the water line Unfortunately, I've hit that water hazard my tee shot. I have 135 yards to the flag. I've brought the ball straight back in line and I've taken my drop over here. Um, I can still save a bogey. Um, I just need to be on the green for sure, hitting my pitching wedge. Stay right. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm upset about the first shot hitting the water, but um, managing to save a bogey after the hazard, it's not a bad result at all. Having to chip putt as well. So now I'm playing 9 over with just the 18th hole to go. I really want to finish with my handicap, even though it's such a tough hole. I, I wish I would buddy it. What a ball. Uh, will it stay? You think that's fine? I hope so. I hit really well, by the way. <laughs> I'm actually very happy with that shot. I'm a little, like, I'm feeling a little low because I'm not playing my handicap. But um, that's a good shot. Okay, so we're at the last approach shot. I'm a little tired now, to be honest. I'm hitting my pitching wedge is 141. I hit my pitching wedge well in the last hole, so I think I can hit it well now. It's a bit of a flyer lie. The flag is very tough, very uh, undulated green, but um, how I wish I could make this into a birdie. Oh, nope. Not the best connection. Go. Go. Now stay there. This would officially be uh, the best round I've played on in tournament golf um, on camera. Um, I'd be at least not playing double digit over. Uh, it's a tough part, honestly. Comes from the left, goes up, then goes down. I need to make this to end up playing nine over. Um, and the sun's coming out finally. I wish it was earlier. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no, that's a bad putt. Oh, that's a bad putt. That is a bad putt. Unfortunately, I had a bit of an audio issue right at the end of the video. All I was saying was that I was delighted I ended up 9 over because I did not want to end up in double digits being 10 over. It was a good round overall, the best I've played in uh, tournament golf on my channel. And I was asking all of you to please subscribe to the channel as it really, really helps the channel grow and uh, all your support has meant a lot. So please subscribe to the channel and I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time. Thank you.